What's up? Lynn here at Sinister Jiu Jitsu in Austin, Texas. We're doing a lapel choke while taking the back. A little bit of a variation, but I want to give a quick shout out to Fight Back CBD. It's one of the local Austin companies here. It's one of my sponsors. Justin is also one of our founding members of the school. Check them out at fightbackcbd.com for more information and get your order in. All right, so here we go. I'm going to set up. I already have my hooks in. Doing a back take. So remember, this is the strong side, this is the weak side because the opening, so I want to put my head here. This hand's always underneath. Whenever I come in, I kind of want to grab my hands by his armpits. So when I come in, I like to take my thumb and point it down in the beginning. Because when they come to address the choke, they pull, I simply flip my thumb up like I'm flipping a pancake. And look how it gets underneath that chin. So I'm going to do thumb in right here, and I'm going to flip it. So I'm going to flip where this lapel faces out, flip it and zip it. Yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab this little baseball choke here. See, I'm stacking my hands and I'm keeping my head really close to him because I don't want him to come out this way. I'm gonna fall over here to my strong side. As I fall, I like to take my foot, the top leg, put the foot kind of cupping his hip. And look, I don't want my knee out here, so I'm gonna bring it in. Squeeze so I can have some control, right? So here we go. As I'm here, they expect me to do a lot of other things. I already have this baseball grip here on the same side lapel. So what I'm gonna do is extend my arms and I picture myself as trying to get both my elbows to touch one another behind his neck, right? Right behind there. So as I'm here, I start to push away and bring my elbows together. All at the same time while having that baseball grip choke. 